Let's get glam. Okay, so what you're going to start out with is I'm going to put on my anti-redness primer. I have problems with redness. It's from L'Oreal Paris Studio Secrets. Um, I'm just going to squirt a little bit on my finger like this much. And that's probably even a little bit too much. And I'm just going to take a dab. I'm going to rub it like on my cheek area. And then I'm going to take a little bit of another dab, rub it on my other cheek. And then I'm going to put like what's ever left both on both fingers or whatever. And then I'm just going to rub it on my nose. And have like... So next I'm going to put on concealer. And I have the Boing by Benefit concealer in number one. It was really pale when I got this. Okay, so I'm just going to rub a little bit on my, f like, the ring finger. Not a ring finger, it's the pointer finger. And I'm going to rub it between this to, like, kind of heat it up. And I'm just going to dab it, like, where I have spots. And also, I'm going to take this, a lot of it, Rub it between both. I'm going to dab it on my eye just to kind of, before I put a base on my eye. And NC25, I think. I don't know. And I'm just going to twist it open. And then I have like a rectangular sponge thing. Actually, it's triangle. And I'm in geometry. I'm going to pass this year. Anyways, um, I'm going to put a little bit on the slope of the um, thicker end, and I'm just going to rub it around with my finger and just, just so it, like, it likes to soak it in, but I want to get an even base too, so like right there. And I'm just going to start out with my nose. And just kind of brush it this way. And then, since I don't have any fancy brushes yet, Christmas, hopefully, I am going to take the Afterglow Glide on Cheek Tint by Urban Decay in Cookie. And this is just a sample, so I don't have much, but it's a really bright pink. And since it's Barbie, you want bright pink, right? And I'm just going to take a side I haven't used of this, rub my brush, or the sponge in it. And I'm going to smile and just put it on the apple of my cheeks. And then I'm just going to take the rest of it, drag it from my temples down to where it is, and just kind of back and forth. And it's okay if you like, you don't want to look like a clown, but if putting on a little more makes it look more Barbie, then that's okay. Pink cheeks. <laughs> and then you're going to do the other side. You know, I didn't think I was going to do this, but now I need to get out another blush just to kind of make it all even. Um, I am getting out my Pure Minerals Marble Powder Pink Blush, and I need to find that other brush, too. Found it. And I'm just going to take um, my brush that came with the whole Pure Minerals face kit I got, just swirl around a little bit, tap it off, it's like this, and I'm just going to smile and go over. just to give you a little bit more of like a fresh looking glow. Um, before I start contouring, I'm just going to take what's left over from my foundation, rub it on here so the glow looks a bit more natural. Don't know if this really does anything because normally I would add like a little bit more foundation, but I'm just going to keep it like that. 
right, so now that you've got like flush cheeks, you're going to take, oh, I hate this stuff, it's so broken. Um, I have like pure minerals bronzer and it likes to fall a lot. Now I can't remember what brush I was going to use. Actually, I'm going to use an angled brush to do this. So I'm taking this brush right here and I'm going to take a little bit of my bronzer, tap it off, and then just kind of go like, if you know where it is, then just kind of like put it on. But if you have to suck in your cheeks, just kind of put it like right there and then drag it up around here. Try to get your hairline. And then do the other side the same way. And then, oh, after you do your cheeks and hairline, you're actually going to do your jawline too. And just kind of drag it down here. Just slightly cover your neck so it just face looks like it matches your body. Then your face is more angular and beautiful. And then you're just going to take a small eyeshadow brush. I'm using that one. And you're going to take your bronzer again. And keep closing this even though you need it. Take a light, or like just a little bit. And with a light hand, start here. And drag down till about right there. It'll make your nose look a lot skinnier. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to quickly um, put on some highlighter. Um, I'm just going to use some eyeshadow because my highlighters that I have suck. And you're just going to pick a color. I need to think about this. Hold on. Sorry about that, thought it wasn't recording. So the last step for your face is you're going to take um, a translucent powder or whatever. Um, I have Bare Minerals Mineral Oil, it's just a sample, finally figured out how to open it today. Um, swirl your fan brush in there, and then just kind of rub it over your entire face. Hold on, I need to get some more out. It just kind of sets everything really nice. And it doesn't actually add any color, which is nice. And obviously using your fan brush works wonderful for that. Just kind of get your whole face a bit. This fan brush is so soft. You have no idea. I love it. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, so you're done for the face. You have a gorgeous face now. Yay. Um, so next we're going to 